Hey guys, so my group's been dealing with uh, fumble charts for a little bit, and originally I had a pretty, f what I figured a pretty fair fumble chart. Uh, let me open it up for you guys so you can see it. So in here it'd be basically 1 to 10, um, would be a straight up miss. 11 to 12, uh, they would not be able to use their reaction uh, until uh, the start of their turn. A uh, trip would basically knock them prone. Exhausted, they would gain a lo one level of exhaustion uh, until the start start of their turn. Or maybe it was the end of turn. Uh, but whatever, it only lasted for for one one round on the on the uh, character. Uh, kind of them like losing their breath. Uh, and then from there, uh, I wanted to have opening where it would allow a attack of opportunity, a uh, self-inflicted wound. Uh, they would uh, hit themselves for a d6. And then friendly fire, uh, they would uh, hit the closest friendly target uh, next to the, uh, yeah, ne next to the actual target. So they'd hit their buddies. So I uh, stayed up actually pretty late uh, working on this thing and I was able to get, get it all working. Uh, so what I did was I go in here, I created an actor called Fumble and created each of the attacks uh, in here. I did not designate, here let me go ahead and show you. Uh, so I did not designate a target because MIDI wants you to roll. So I'm like no, no target. Um, in fact, all it is is just a utility. Um, it's just a card. Uh, so none of these are actually, they're, they're getting rolled, but they're not actually like, uh, doing any type of execution. Most, most of what they're doing is executing through item macro and running their little scripts. So, you know, uh, it runs all of this stuff and it grabs everything through MIDI. So this is hundred percent MIDI QL, uh, and a bit, and a bit of day, uh, mixed in there to get all the effects going. And it does use a cub for some of the conditions. So in here, um, let's go ahead and I'll show you the fumble macro. Uh, I mean, all it is is basically just going into that table uh, and then finding the fumble actor, uh, rolling it, getting the chat result, pushing in, finding the, uh, the item on the fumble actor, and then from there just executing it. So let's go ahead and see this thing in action. Okay, so we finally got our nat one. So from here, all I gotta do is hit the little fumble button. And now it wants our player for exhausted to do a constitution check. And uh, luckily he made his save. And if we want to, we can smack him again with a trip. And oh no, he failed. So now he is knocked prone. If we hit it again, it just says that he misses. Just, uh, I want to show off the, uh, the self-inflicted wound here. So now he's able to attack himself and deal damage. Each of these you can actually go in here and fully click in and each of them will run on its own so miss distracted trip yeah the exhausted and actually if he has exhausted one it will upgrade uh, to exhausted two for you know if if say your players are already previous previously exhausted from whatever it is. So here you can see that it went up to exhaustion too. And then the friendly fire. Yeah, I'm using the uh, the JB animations and it's, it would be kind of nice to be able to like, uh, well, I mean, it goes by your target. So maybe maybe there'd be a way that I could go around and make it like so they spear themselves, but uh, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, uh, here's just a sneak peek, and uh, once once I play test this with my party and uh, 
make sure that uh, it's doing what it should be doing. I'll go ahead and throw it up on my Patreon, and then you guys can go ahead and uh, enjoy beating the crap out of your players with it. And then, uh, you know, you can always modify it and do whatever whatever you want with it. All right. Uh, thanks for checking out this uh, cool uh, video on this uh, fumbling chart. All right.